guys, welcome back to DY Farms. And uh, we're putting this feed panel, this push feed panel up together for our silage pile back there. If you guys can see it. Uh, we made one back in there. If you guys can see it, I'll go take you guys over there, show you show you it. And uh, so I'm just going to do a little thing, a little YouTube video. I'm not going to talk much, but... So we use these boards because they push the waste, the waste, they waste, they waste, the cows waste a lot. So if we put the boards here, they won't waste as much and they'll push because last we had that feed pile back up there, like I showed you guys in the first or second video, they were, these, we didn't have these on, uh, they would just push the feed will just go right through and they step on it and all that. So we put these boards in and take these wires. If I can get them. I take my fencing pliers and close it, pinch it together a little bit, and then just twist it. Like this. I just twist it till it gets to like two inches, or till I think it's two inches, and then I stop. Go like this. Take my fencing pliers. I can't see nothing, so I'm gonna just cut the one end, open it up, take the other end, and just. Hammer it back, and then I'll take. My other one, I'll just sand it through these holes that we made. And my brother will pass it through the other hole. It's too small. Can't hurt. I'll take my fencing pile and then just pull. So if it's short like this, it's short like this. I'm just doing this on my phone. If it's short like this, right here, and it's short. And uh, so you just take your fencing pliers or your pliers or whatever you're using. Oh, how you guys think it here? Just. Or if you got a hook at the end, just hook it up and just pull. And then I'll just, like I did for the top one, send my wires through. Send my wires through like this. And then, short little video, nothing much. I tried to do one on my GoPro and it didn't work. I can't, I, I videotape, but. I don't think I got what I wanted, so I'll check it out. So my brother's gonna hit it most nice and flat. And then, and then I'll just do the same thing. So uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and uh, comment what you guys want to see. Like, yeah, share the video. Um, post on your Instagram, uh, go check this DY Farms guy out, and yeah, so, uh, DY Farmer, out. This is my brother's queen heifer. She's the best of this town in the world. And she likes just right in here. She goes nuts. Like, yeah. she's...
she leans to the way that you're gonna go, which side you are on. Funny. No, the other cows are behind us. Yeah, then we got this is our calving pen where all the cows calve. That's our calf, the ones that calved already. Oh, yeah, a little short clip on her end. Yeah, so. So guys, welcome back to DY Farms here. Uh, I think I did a video. I did an intro and all that, so just want to say that again. My brother here is in. He once said, "Oh, let's do a time lapse of me getting bedding down the pen." So hope you enjoy this time lapse or hyper lapse, whatever you call it. So yeah, so here we go. That's what I gotta grind off on this side so it can, it's nice and flush. Let's talk about safety. When you are always grinding, wear safety glasses or some sort of glasses so you'll get debris in your eye. That's what I'm gonna do right now. And then make sure nobody's around you. At this point, you know, there's lots of shock in this car. Be careful which. Put it back on, see if it swings back and forth. If not, take it off and do the process again. So, just a little short video here. Um, yeah, so hope you like the video that I'm gonna put out before this. Hope you like that video. Share, comment what you want to see next time, like the video. So, see you on DY Farms.